Chapter Five: Patterns. See, Apu, I can create a pattern too. But did you know? You can have a pattern out of anything. Let's watch this video to see that. As we have already seen in an earlier lesson, patterns are a set of numbers, shapes, or any object that are repeated over and over again. Let us see some examples. What we have here is a star and an oval, then a star and an oval again. So these two shapes are being repeated here. So what do you think comes after the oval here? Observe the pattern carefully. You're right. There's a star after each oval, so we should have a star here. Now, what follows every star in the sequence? Let's see. So we have a star and an oval. So after this star, we should have an oval. It is pretty simple once you have identified the pattern. Let me show you another one. How do we complete this pattern? A, one, B, two, C, three, and then two blank spaces. We have the first alphabet, A, and the first number, one. Followed by the second alphabet, B, and the second number, two. What comes next is the third alphabet, C, and the number three. So what should obviously be next is the fourth alphabet, D, and the number four. It's important to first understand what is going on in the pattern. Let's try a few more. In this pattern, we have a row of only one kind of shape that circles. But what is the pattern here? The colors of two circles alternate with each other. We have a red circle first, and then we have a green circle. Then again, a red circle and a green circle. A red circle. Now, what do you think should come next? You're right. There should be a green circle next. There you go. Now, after this, what should we have here? After a green circle, you can see we have a red circle. So here we should have a red circle too, and then another green circle. Wow, this is a lot of fun, isn't it? Now let's do a few more to get a better understanding of the concept. You see, each series of objects needn't be a pattern for sure. Let me draw a circle. Then a square, then a triangle, then a square, a triangle again, and a circle. Now you'll see the shapes used are definitely repeated, but are not in a definite order. There is no pattern: a circle, a square, a triangle, then a square, a triangle again, and a circle. So this is definitely not a pattern. Let's alter the above into a pattern. What shapes do we have here? A circle, a square, and a triangle. So let's repeat them in an order like this. Now, what do you think? You can see the core of the pattern repeated one after the other, right? So this one is surely a pattern. Now that you know how to identify a pattern, let's do a few more examples. Okay, so what do we have here? We first have just one circle, then we have two circles, and then we have three circles. What do you think should come next? You're right, four circles, and then five circles, and finally six circles. Don't they kind of look like the sides of a dice? If you've played Monopoly, you know that. Hmm. How about completing another pattern? Okay, so here we have a sequence of arrows, one facing right and the other one facing left. Again, the other one's facing right and the next facing left. The other one's facing right, and then it's blank. Let's try to figure this one out. 
So what comes next? An arrow facing left. Then we continue the pattern with an arrow facing right. And the next one would be an arrow facing left. Aren't these so simple and fun to solve?